Hi there, Aquarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of August the 23rd through to the 29th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune in the upright, followed then by the Knight of Pentacles upright, and next we have the Knight of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Ace of uh, Pentacles. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Hierophant. All of your cards are in the upright position. Wow, what's going on? Aquarius, aren't you the lucky one? Well, here we go. We've got Jupiter's wheel. And guess what? Jupiter is actually now back in Aquarius and will remain there until uh, December of this year. Uh, you guys are the darlings of the Zodiac right now. And it looks like you're moving with Jupiter's wheel into a very lucky week, Aquarius. I love the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is where, in the upright, of course, because this is where we're moving with the energies of the universe and we have no resistance like it is when it's reversed. So this is where we're moving um, we're getting out of our own way. We're moving towards our destiny, moving towards lucky breaks. Uh, there could be a lucky break uh, this week unfolding for some of you. Now it will unfold in different ways. Remember general reads, right? So situation is different for all of you. Just take what resonates. But for some of you, you could end up, you know, walking into a store, buying a lottery ticket and winning a few dollars or online. People are, you know, doing the lottery thing online. However you do it, it all works out. Um, others of you, this could be where you look on the internet and find your dream job is posting and you're like, wow, you know, I'm going for that. Um, for others of you, you could, you know, meet the love of your life, you know, turning a corner or uh, running for the bus or what have you. It's just a lucky occurrence can happen when the Wheel of Fortune is here. So there could be a lucky break in store for you. Keep an eye out for it. I always say that when the Wheel of Fortune is there, you got to make sure uh, a lot of times we can make our own luck by spotting things. Now, Aquarians are pretty observant people. So make sure you observe your surroundings this week, Aquarius, and know when uh, there's a potential here and jump on it right away. Don't hesitate. Like the Knight of Pentacles. Sometimes he hesitates. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles in the upright position starts off your week. This is a court card. Could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now, this could also just be a slow-moving opportunity or um, uh, offer that comes towards you. But it's taking a long time. Now, for some of you, if you're single and you have been dating, maybe this person has taken a long time to maybe offer you some kind of commitment. And it could be this week they do come, they finally come forward. For others of you, this could represent an offer or opportunity uh, for, for a great job. It could be an offer or an opportunity for, uh, say for example, if you have something up for sale, this is great because if you're selling your home or your vehicle or something like that. <clears throat> It could be that someone is making a solid offer. Like the Knight of Pentacles offer is very, very solid. If it's coming towards you, this person doesn't make frivolous offers. It's not here today, gone tomorrow kind of offers. These are offers that are well thought out and there's a lot behind it. So for some of you, this is an offer that, you know, will be solid if you have, like I said, if you have something up for sale or even if you're looking for a job offer or something like that, this is a very, very solid offer. And it's paired up with the Knight of uh, Cups. Now we've got the Knight in Shining Armor here showing up. It looks like you have could have two offers. Well, wow, look at this Aquarius, my goodness. If you've been waiting for offers, <laughs> this is gonna be a lucky week. <laughs> Cause wow, <laughs> you've got the Knight of Cups here. Uh, sometimes two knights in a reading can indicate two people are fighting over you. Now, if this is playing out on the romantic front, it could be that you have two offers. Maybe one is from the romantic dreamer, the Knight of Cups is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So it could be that you get an offer from a very romantic person at the same time you're getting an offer from a very practical person. And these two could be sort of, you know, playing out some kind of jealous uh, scenario where they're 
they're you know uh, competing for your attention for others of you this could be maybe you've got a, a practical job offer but you also got an offer now of your dream job or something that you would really really love to do the knight of cups can sometimes represent a proposal so some of you maybe are being proposed to this week and uh, maybe for some of you this is actually the these two energies are the same person it could be this person is very romantic but also very practical and down to earth and maybe they're offering you or you know proposing to you and you know what they have to offer is something very real and very solid again it's hard with general reads so just take what applies but it could be two separate offers or it could be the same person one one side of them is like the romantic dreamer the other side of them is very practical and down to earth which is you know a perfect combination as far as i'm concerned <laughs> moving on towards the weekend we have the beautiful ace of pentacles in the upright position i think that whatever is being offered to you has some kind of um you know potential to be something really you know grow into something really big down the road the ace of pentacles is like an opportunity that, or even an investment opportunity or something that comes to you or if it's a job offer it's something that could you know eventually you know pay a lot of money maybe you're starting off at an entry level and eventually you will be making a lot of money for some of you, that's the case. For others of you, the Ace of Pentacles can represent a small inheritance coming your way or a gift of money, just being, you know, gifted some kind of uh, financial bonus could be representing a bonus, an actual bonus from your job or something like that, or money coming your way, maybe just as a gift from family members, friends, what have you. Or a great opportunity to invest in something again with that wheel of fortune like wow this is great <laughs> like you're such the lucky one this week uh, Aquarius because with the wheel of fortune being there you could have an opportunity to invest in something that could really really bring you some good fortune and the last card you have is the card that keeps coming up this week I don't know why this is but the Taurus energy the Hierophant in the upright position the Hierophant points to commitments making commitments signing contracts maybe some of you are signing a contract to a new job or you could be signing on a dotted line for a new investment opportunity this could be a new um, like a home perhaps a home purchase and it's gonna pay big bucks down the road when you finally sell the house Others of you, this could just be, uh, you know, making a commitment to something conventional. It could be that you're committing maybe to a church group or a spiritual group or something like that. Others of you could be signing a contract, especially if you work for the school or the government or something official like that. Uh, churches, that kind of stuff. Um, interesting. I don't know. The, the, you didn't get it as overall. A lot of the signs were getting this as overall energy. But there's something about signing contracts, making commitments to things. But uh, for some of you, it's coming right after the Ace of Pentacles. So maybe some of you are signing contracts. It has to do with investments or financial gifts. Maybe some of you um, are getting gifted some money and perhaps, you know, you want to lock it into something official or do it do something standard with the money I'm not sure but um, in any case you guys have a terrific week I mean when your week starts off with the wheel of fortune in the upright you know you're gonna have some great fantastic opportunities there so glad to see it for my Aquarians I hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and I will see you next week bye bye